Hey guys, what's going on? Today I wanted to tell the world how I was doing, how I'm feeling. You know, the things I've been through in the recent few days. I know you guys might find this a little crazy because there's no gameplay, but you know, it, it, it's still related to gaming, hardware gaming. So the other day I'm like, you know, actually for the whole week, for the whole week I'm like, yo, I need a new motherboard. The PS4 is coming out, the Xbox is coming out, they're coming out with the 8 cores, all that goody goody stuff, you know, with the next generation games and all that. Kind of, yo, I gotta prepare. So I'm like, damn, I gotta get some. I gotta get a new board. Because the board I had, board I have currently right now, my system, what is it gonna do anything? Okay, it can't really compare to the PS4. Okay, it cannot. It cannot. Not. It just can't compare to the PS4. I was thinking picking up. Uh, AM3, uh, pros uh, AM3 motherboard, and just rock out AMD. You know what I'm saying? Because Intel is really expensive. So I'm like, yo, what motherboard should I buy? I need something that's gonna be for at least five years. Cause that's what I'm planning on upgrading my motherboard. Every five years, I upgrade my motherboard. That's the way I want it to be. You know what I'm saying? So like, I need something that's gonna be sturdy, reliable, and since I'm an overclocker. I'm gonna overclock the shit out that bitch. So I'm browsing on Newegg. I'm like, yo, look at that board right there. That is the Asus Sabertooth 990FX. I should pick that up. I'm looking at it, military grade components. I'm like, damn, that's nice. So I'm like, yeah, I, I should pick it up. I was comparing, I was like, you know what? Either this or the Gigabyte 990FX, which is, mm, it doesn't have the tough quality-ish I mean, for what you're praying for, Aces give you more, you know, because it has. There's other motherboard out there with, you know, military grade stuff ish, like on the board. But I'm like, you know what? This Aces Saber Tooth board seems like the hot deal, and everybody wants to get it. Everybody prefer this board over a lot of boards. So I'm like, you know what? I'm also gonna pick it up. Cause it's sturdy. It looks nice. It's sexy. It looks reliable, and I can overclock the crap out of my CPU. So I'm like. Yeah, this should be good. I've overlocked my CPU and and I can add up to four graphics card on this mother. Can you under can you decrypt that? Four. That's four graphics card on this baby right here. So I got the board. I'm like shit, this thing is nice. Got the board in two days. New egg has amazing service. So I got the board, I hooked it up. But like, yeah, this is rocking real nice, you know what I mean? It looked really nice in my case. So I turned it on, and I'm playing with it, you know, willy nilly and all that stuff. I got the ATI 5770 graphics card already in there, which I'm planning on upgrading to compete or be better than what consoles can give me. Well, what, what, what console can give? Uh, come on, man, it's, it's PC. You have better hardware out there. So four days in, I decide, you know what? This motherboard has four graphics card slots. I can put four graphics card in this motherboard. So I'm like, yo, let me grab my 9800 GT and put it in there so I can have some physics. Because that's what a lot of people do. Since I have ATI, they didn't they have no, no physics. I don't know everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. The processor got the physics on board, la, la, la. This has advanced physics. Come on now, that's why. It's, it's actually pretty different if you, if, you look. if you look at videos out there it's actually kind of different this is like advanced physics so I'm like yo let me put this in my computer you know what I mean so I can have two GPUs in there one for physics one does everything else this makes the game look prettier with its particles spreading around when you shoot stuff in Borderlands and other games that support this physics, which is not that many, but there's a few titles out there. Borderlands, Borderlands 2, you got Batmans, all the Batmans they support the enemies of physics. So I'm like, yo, I'm gonna dip it in there. So I went ahead, I plugged it in. I turned on my computer, yo, shit look fly. I turned it on, I was looking at it, everything showed up. Something was different. I didn't know what it was. It was really weird. So I'm like, hold up. Where's the audio? I'm not here. I didn't hear it when I logged in the windows. I didn't hear any sound. No sound whatsoever. So I'm like, okay, must be a little glitch. Let me reboot. So I reboot the PC. Turn it back on. Nothing. Still no sound. I could not understand 
why the sound just would stop working. I just, I don't know. Here she is. Saber tooth, see the tooth, and all that stuff up in there. So I, I was all up in this, man. I was, I was all prepared. I got everything up in here. I got the um, full gigs of DDR3 RAM, the new bell from DDR2, DDR3 moving up. Um, and here's the board itself. I should probably take it out the wrapper. All right, so here's the board. Look at it. It looks nice, doesn't it? Don't worry, I touched the computer case. So I have no static electricity on me. So the board looks good. So you got the black socket right here. You dig it for the AM3 Plus 8 core CPU. Uh, we have four PCIe graphics cards put in here. That's what I am talking about. So, um, damn, shit. I can't even do a video of people snoring up on this piece. All right, so there it is. All the ports in the back. The damn thing just stopped working. All right, it fill up with USB 3.0, all that stuff. Hey, this board has a lot of neat features. Now, I added the card. The graphics card, the first card was on this one, and the second card was on this one. Because it's full bandwidth at uh, PCI 2.0. So I'm like, yeah, put that in there. So I put it in, the sound wouldn't work. Literally, I've done everything. I've, I've removed drivers, I've, I've, everything, I've done everything. I've, I've changed cards, put them in different slots, put them both back in. I've done many, even if reinstalled Windows 7, no, nothing, it just wouldn't work. Are you hearing him snore? I swear to God, if, if my wife snores, it's a divorce. It did get me really mad that something like this would happen on an expensive enthusiast board like this. Like I was saying, I don't want to turn it in because this is a brand new board. And then I turn it in, this semi refurbished one. I don't want that. If I wanted a refurbished board, I would have bought that shit refurbished. If another component on this board fails, I will definitely send it in. The board also comes with five years warranty. Thank God for that. So for five years, I'm probably gonna get rid of this board. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, probably not. But the board does have a five year warranty, so. That's cool. Anyway, let me guys let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about this. I really am gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it tonight. Put the pillow over his face. I'm gonna do it. So, as always, I'll talk to you guys later.